Buccaneers lurk offshore and bombard your stronghold, even as you retaliate in fire and splintered stone. Repair your fortress in time to repel the next onslaught, blast through the arcade hit, or take on new Super Rampart with hot new levels and more devastating weaponry. This is Rampart, a real-time strategy defense kind of game from Bitmasters and Electronic Arts, published in 1992. was also available on the NES, if I remember, and we looked at it during the 365 days of the NES. Uh, available originally for arcades and a bunch of other systems. Um, kind of a shoot 'em up puzzle type game. Um, and kind of one of the first games that you could consider tower defense. So we control a set of castles, which we have to defend by shooting at ships or other players and repairing any damage done to them within a time limit. Surrounding the castle is a wall made up of blocks completely surrounding the region on a board. The area is considered your territory and may contain one or more castles or any number of cannons. The maintenance is the primary focus of the game. When you defeat your opponent, you can execute the commander by walking the plank or beheading. I don't think we got to that. That might be in uh, some of the other versions, but not our version. It has been ported to the SNES, the Master System, the Genesis, the Lynx, the PC, the Macintosh, the Commodore 64, the Amiga, and the Atari ST as well as the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, NES, and Famicom. Megatech gave the Mega Drive version a 90% in a Hyper Game Award, saying that it was a superb blend of different game styles. The arcade version is included in the Midway Arcade Treasures, available for the GameCube, PS2, Xbox, PSP, and the Midway Arcade Origins compilation for the PS3 and 360, and was included with Gauntlet on the Game Boy Advance. So let's just... Rampart is now available for the SNES, the Master System, the Genesis, the Lynx, the PC, Max, Commodore, Amiga, Atari ST, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, NES, Famicom, GameCube, PS2, Xbox, PSP, PS3, and Xbox 360. That might be one of the most available games of all time. Most of the home versions change the game in non-trivial ways. The Japanese Famicom version, which was released by Konami, has seven training levels and three difficulty settings. It features an extensive multiplayer mode for two people. Many options can be chosen, such as the number of cannons. There are also several open-sourced games based on Rampart, such as Kajani Combat and Castle Combat. PS3 port was released on the PSN. Uh, it is no longer available for purchase, though. It was about 12 years ago. It is mostly identical to the arcade version and supports multiplayer. Games based on Rampart are available for iOS devices such as Hostile Tides. I don't have any reception data. Can you imagine trying to get reception data for a game like this? This was um, an influencer of the first tower defense games around a decade later, and gameplay similarities uh, include defending a territory and making repairs between each round. I don't remember liking this very much on the NES, but I don't think I really knew what I was doing. Uh, I had a great time playing and recording this for the Super Nintendo. Uh, looks good, sounds good, plays good. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> 